right, time for the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video here on Tuesday, July the 26th, 2022. Only a handful of days left in the month, and August looks to start on a pretty darn hot note. And we'll talk about the longer range at the end of this video. But I wanted to start out this evening straying a little bit outside of our viewing area because a big national weather story uh, across uh, the country t uh, last night and this morning, of course, the flooding around St. Louis, just tremendous amounts of rain. And a lot of this fell in six, seven, eight, ten hours. You know, we're talking about some radar estimates here of 12, 13, 14 inches worth of rain. And there's a lot of ground truth to this. A lot of rain gauges did register double digit rainfall totals around, in and around St. Louis last night and early this morning. This, of course, caused tremendous amounts of problems, a lot of water rescues, and even though uh, the heavy rain has departed for now. Uh, they're still dealing with uh, the aftermath of this around the Mississippi River early this evening. Now, the radar is thankfully quieter across much of the Mississippi Valley into uh, the lower Ohio Valley. That's going to change those we had into tonight and especially into tomorrow, and that's why some flood watches have been hoisted from southern Indiana to Cincinnati, to Parkersburg, Marietta area, down towards Charleston, West Virginia, a good chunk of Kentucky. Now, this part of the country is a particularly flood-prone area, and oftentimes when we have flooding uh, situations or setups in this part of the country, unfortunately some fatalities uh, do occur. This is a very rural, very hilly uh, part of Appalachia, and uh, yeah, so there's a concern for uh, quite a bit of rain leading to some problems over the next day or two. Here's one model depiction of how much rain should fall uh, over the next 72 hours. So, you know, straight from southern Indiana, right through parts of uh, Kentucky into West Virginia, ex even extreme southern Ohio. You know, we're talking about at least a couple, if not a few inches, maybe even a half a foot worth of rain in some places, especially once you get into that really higher terrain in West Virginia. This could be a big, big problem. So that's something we'll be watching as we head into the day on Wednesday. Back here at home, though, Boy, we had a tremendous sunset last evening. Nice sunrise this morning. We can thank the high and mid-level clouds, which were thin enough last night um, and this morning, to really, uh, really light up when the setting sun last night or the rising sun this morning lit them up from underneath. Uh, the clouds are thinning out quite a bit this evening, so I, I don't think we'll have quite as nice of a sunset this evening, but it'll be something worth... Uh, at least uh, stepping outside to check out to see if we have another nice one this evening. In the meantime, we had kind of a chaotic looking sky today, but today was a real winter. I mean, it was in the mid 50s this morning. Dew points were not a story all day. It was just delightful despite it being kind of cloudy from time to time. But our, our little respite from the higher dew points is going to end on our Wednesday. Our current dew point as of 7 p.m. locally 58, but St. Louis at a tropical 74. And as a warm front tracks our way over the next 12 hours or so, those dew points will start to come up. So not too bad first thing tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, here comes the soupy air. Dew points well up into the 60s, maybe even lower 70s by dinner time on our Wednesday. What about rain for Wednesday? I think we're dry in the morning. As we get into the afternoon, just a hit or miss shower, small chance of thunder. I really do think the highest rain chances will be reserved for later in the day towards evening, but even it won't be a whole lot. Then as we go into the day on Thursday, uh, some model disagreement as far as the potential for maybe a pop-up shower or storm in the afternoon. Our kind of in-house model here does not have much in the afternoon. Some other higher res modeling would suggest that this approaching front might try to kick something off before the afternoon is through. Our forecast right now is pretty dry Thursday afternoon, but we're going to be watching the model trend certainly over the next several hours and into tomorrow we might have to allow for something to pop up as we get into the second half of the day. Thursday, maybe one more shower very early Friday morning, but in the wake of the second front, the dew points will start to come down again Friday afternoon, setting the stage for a great Friday evening and a great Saturday and Sunday. The final weekend of July looks fantastic. We talked about this some last evening, but just a, uh, a reminder, we, we've got a pretty serious heat dome uh, in the forecast for next week, starting out in the Rockies, but then migrating east and while I don't think we'll have any records around here, uh, there could be some triple digits next week, especially late in the week. Uh, maybe Chicago, maybe St. Louis, uh, maybe even close to Cincinnati. I don't think we'll see anything like that in Northeast Ohio and Western PA. But late next week into that first weekend of August, at the higher end of the range of possibilities, I would say a day or two with highs in the mid-90s. Now, that's towards the higher end. I wouldn't say that's the most likely uh, outcome at this point, but I think we'll have a good chance of at least flirting with 90, if not exceeding 90 by a degree or two. Uh, very late next week into that first weekend of August. So, yeah, 
We haven't had real high heat of late. We've had plenty of muggy weather um, of late, but we haven't touched the mid-90s now in a few weeks, and uh, we might try to do that uh, a couple of times as we uh, head towards that first weekend of August. In the meantime, we've got a great final weekend of July coming our way. Don't forget to check out the forecast anytime on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Thanks for watching. Tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you back here on Wednesday.